Hello and welcome PML fans. The last video we talked about James. This one we're talking about Coach Jeremy of the Dragon Knights. Yes, yes. And with me I still have Jaden and Stuart. Hello there. Yo, again. <laughs> Let's get to it. <laughs> Alright, uh, the Dragon Knights have drafted Metagross, Gudra, Arcanine, Aerodactyl, Jolteon. The Rourke, Nido King, Mammal Swine, Hitmon Lee, and Mimikyu. Looking at this team, how do you guys feel about his bulk? Fucking terrified, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> I mean, before Incineroar came along, Arcanine was it, right? Like, that was the Mon you wanted on your team. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he's got Arcanine, which is Incineroar Light. That's great. Metagross is just bulky because of its type. Um, Mimikyu's got... Uh, can't remember its ability. Disguise. Um, Mana Swine is bulky. Yeah, is like, mm -hmm. Gudra's bulky because it's it's Gudra. There's nothing that says, oh, you know, there's no, like, chance here or anything, but you don't need it. You don't need it, I don't think. And, then with and like, things like, things like Zorok as well, like... Yeah. Like it can confuse it. I don't know about you guys, but it confuses me all the time. It's a rock. Yeah, like, it's a Pokemon, always fall for it. Yeah, for it. You, ne you never know when it can come in and it can disguise it just itself. It's a form of Metagross. Mm -hmm. it disguise itself as Metagross, it's never going to get hit with a fairy type move. It's definitely not. Yeah, that's just it. That, you, click a, you click a ghost move and it's all over. And you're going to be surprised when that uh, Metagross hits you with the flamethrower. Yeah. And uh, especially with his Metagross being able to Dynamax, it, I think that's going to be one of his big bulky offensive pressure mines. Right yeah. Now. I mean, even if he brings it like bulky with rocks and bullet punch and whatnot, like as as a defensive threat as opposed to an offensive one, that's always a plus two. I mean, I think he will bring it offensively, but I'm just saying if he wanted to bring it defensively, that's always an option. Mm-hmm. Shuckerberry or something. I think I confidently gave him a 9. I was close to giving him a 10. For both. Yeah, 9. Yeah, I went 9. Alright. So we can all agree, he's pretty bulky. Uh, Metagross, Gudra, Arcanine is pretty good. And Mama Swine's always a threat. Now, how do we he's feel old. about his speed tiers? Excellent, excellent speed tiers. He's got, excellent. you know, yeah. he's got two of the fastest mons in the game with Aerodactyl and Jolteon. Um, Sorok's super fast. Um, Hitmon Lee gets unburdened. His slow mons don't need to be fast. Mm -hmm. He's got Mammoth as well. Yeah, that's right. And Mammoth Swine's got that middle speed tier covered, so between him and Nido King, I know they're both ground types, but if he wants to bring something in that middle range, speed tier wise, that just under a hundred, then he's got he's got coverage for that too. And he has a really good core in uh, Gudra and Mimikyu to counter Trick Room. Yeah. If, if yeah. he wants to leave, I mean, Mimikyu can bring his own. Mimikyu can bring his own, bring his own Trick Room in. Yeah, I was gonna say Mimikyu can build as a Trick Room and do it that way. Oh yeah, and it's, that's why I'm saying like Mimikyu could set it up for Gudra or even. Uh, uh, counter it off if Gudra falls and he just needs to speed back. Does Metagross get Trick Room? No. no. I think it might. I think it might, but we, you wouldn't want to run Trick Room on Metagross. No. Let's have a look. No, it doesn't. So yeah, I didn't think so. Um, but yeah, I gave him a 9 as well for speed and, you know, speed control. Aerodactyl can tell when. And, uh, obviously, he, he has such speedy minds, he probably doesn't even need to do that. Yeah, he can tell as well. Yeah, same. <laughs> All right, so, so far, so good for Jeremy. Uh, now we move on to his wall-breaking ability. And, flat out, most of his minds can just hit hard without setup. Like, Nido King, yeah. Aerodactyl, Jolteon, the Rourke. 
and the classic, you know, the classic move is meta gross and business policy. The two goes together like, I don't know, it's, well, it goes together really well. <laughs> the chocolate and strawberries, man, they just go together really, really well. Very much so. It, it's just like it's just, uh, nine times out of ten, you know that thing's going to be holding a, a weakness policy, and you're not going to want to hit it with the dark side move. Especially when it's about, you know, it's about to match. Especially yeah. if Max is so prevalent, yeah. And the, the thing you want to do with Metagross is you, you want to burn it, but then if Arcanine's not intimidated, it's going to be flash fire. And you don't want to boost Arcanine's fire types either. Like, it's just going to be, a, it's all around a bad time. Yeah, I think I mean, you could, yeah, run, anyway, you could, just, you could easily just run Justify too. Is it's the only way you can... Um, dark type. Yeah, the only way you can deal with that is if you double target Metagross and then you get killed by the other mods, so you can't win. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, Jolteon, I've used many, many times in this, in singles, um, and it just gets so hard. Um, it can get so fast as well. Um, Hitmonlee, I mean, I mean, you can set up that to be very, very fast. You can get Max Knuckle it if you don't want to, meta, if for some reason, they want to Dynamax Metagross. It's just so much wall breaking potential. Um, again, nine. I think I'm gonna have to give him a ten after really looking at his team and give him the first ten so far. Just because, like I said, naturally his 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 card hitters hit so hard, but and then plus setup ability with like the Rourke nasty plot, Metagross weakness policy, which is almost a guarantee. Uh, hip yeah, no, actually, I'll change my I'll change my to a ten as well. I agree. And uh, of course, the Forever Nido King with the uh, Life Orb ability. I mean, Life Orb mm. Sheer Force. Yep. No ten. Where did you go? Uh, I think the baby was crying, so we'll get his uh, point here in a second. Um, I gave a nine just because I'm averse to giving tens. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Like Matt in the singles draft. No one's perfect. No one's perfect. <laughs> All right. And that brings us to uh, recovery and support. We know his team can hit hard and cut you down, but can he support his mons together? So this is yeah. this is the lowest grade I gave him out of all of them. But in saying that, it's still pretty awesome. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, I would have to say seven. He does have a uh, Tailwinder, but Aerodactyl is pretty frail. So it would be able to get Tailwind off. But how long will it stick around after it does this? It's a big thing. I think you got to remember the context of doubles, though. Double battles don't last that long. That like, you think single battles you know, can be like 15 turns plus. But doubles only last. You can, you can get a game done in like six turns, and if you got four moves of tailwind, then that's like two thirds of the game or another tailwind. And I don't expect Jeremy's games to last very long at all, based on his wall breaking potential. Mm. I don't yeah. see, I don't see the, those games lasting for a particularly long time. I mean, he probably doesn't so even I, need tailwind. <laughs> honestly, no, he just, probably doesn't. Just bring um. White Herb, Close Combat, Hitmonlee or something in a way. <laughs> Unburdened. Uh, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> um, no, with Arcanine, you know, just useful useful moves to support Metagross and his other killers. Yeah, but I, I do have to say, since it's like a specific category of re recovery and support, uh, we, I would have to grade him lower just because his team doesn't really have it. Might not need it, but he just don't have it. Yeah, that's right. That's pretty much why I gave it a six. Yeah, I gave it I'm a seven. I'm going to be the voice of contrary. I, I always hate seeing Jeremy's teams because I know that it makes you feel so scared every time. Like, even the singles final, I've got to fight him in. I feel scared. Fifty is <laughs> um, a good I'm, I'm, battler. He's a good battler. He knows what Pokemon work. I, I'm giving him a nine again for his for his recovery and support. It's mostly for the, the support is just there. Like Zora. Is this your well. is, is this your top team, Jaden? 
I think it might be. Wow. I think, it was, I think he is a... He's always a phenomenal battler. He's always a phenomenal, yeah. phenomenal teams. I never look forward to battling him. Um, he's just a very, very strong, strong guy. <clears throat> All right. Well, now that uh, Jaden's finished polishing them off, uh, let's go to uh, Team Synergy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can all guess my score for this one. It's also a nine. So a total of 40 yeah, I gave. 50. Oh, I definitely 50. gave him a nine as well. Yeah, I think uh, you have to. I mean, we, the way we've talked about his team and how it works together, it's just seamless. Hmm. So I also gave it a nine. Nine all round. So Jeremy, I'll be back just front. know. I'm not. I'm not ready to fight you yet. So. <laughs> I'll be very surprised if he doesn't take it out. He'll take out the championship. Hey, hey! Don't, Big pool. Don't sleep Big on pool. me. Yet. <laughs> All right. I'm pretty sure I called. I'm pretty sure I called Jeremy to take out the championship as it's played in singles and he's you know in the finals. Yeah. Who's gonna be in the final? Uh, Jeremy, definitely. Jeremy and, um, probably, probably either Zach or Dusty from our division. Because Zach is very yeah. strong, but Dusty is also a very, very good team, so we'll see. All right, so uh, let's see. So, what'd y'all give them? 46 out of 50, oh. my highest ever score. Ever? Um, ever? Ever. Ooh, period. I gave him 42 solely because I did quite low on the support and recovery because of the recovery aspect. But um, yeah, 42 is still very reasonable. I gave him a 44. So increments of two with those right there. So the average is 44? Four, I can handle that. All right, Jeremy, we got high hopes for you, so don't let us down. Unless you're facing me, then let me down. <laughs> 